to the most important type of relays that is distance relays. So there are mainly three types of distance relays that is impedance relay, reactance relay and admittance relay. Admittance means more relay. Okay, the, these important points we are going to go through here. So coming to the impedance relay here, it is voltage restrained and over current relay. So first of all you remember here the first one we are saying of restraint that means how we are going to get restraining force that is due to voltage in in case of impedance impedance relay and the operating force we should need operating force and restraining force for a relay to operate oh, in a relay mechanism so from the first term that is voltage restraining we are getting the restraining force is due to voltage and then what about operating force it is due to current this second term is saying your operating force that is over current relay yes right because if the current is becoming greater than the pickup only it will operate that means it is operating force operating force is current restraining force is voltage this is important bit theoretical bit okay and this is a non-directional relay because if you observe the characteristics or the locus, the impedance locus, you are having a circle with a center at 0, 0, and the radius is nothing but reach if you observe. Okay, so means in all the directions the characteristics are there. So we cannot take it as a directional relay, right? For a directional this relay, the characteristics should be in a particular direction. But here the characteristics are lying in all the directions. Okay, so it is a non-directional relay. And the impedance magnitude is nothing but square root of K1 by K2. So here this K1 and K2 you are going to get from operating force and restraining force. Okay, that you need to know and go through that operating force formula and restraining force you can easily get because as from the first statement itself the voltage is the restraining force that means k k2 v square and the current is the operating force it will be k1 i square so like that you need to think with the first statement itself you should be in a position to get the formula for impedance that is reach modulus of z that is nothing but reach okay and one more diagram I have given with the x axis as V and y axis as current. Why we should consider y axis? Consider x axis V and y axis I because, because like uh, the restraining quantity is voltage, right? The operating quantity is current. So always you should consider on the x axis operating quantity. And if you take the plot, it is a linear line and if the current is towards the arrow side I have shown one arrow symbol there if the current is of that values then the relay will operate that is meaning of the that second diagram okay impedance relay in case of distance relays we are having reactance relay so all are of ohm, ohm values that means impedance values only so reactance is a part of impedance okay that means only purely imaginary quantities there is no resistance in case of reactance okay so this is directional restraint over current relay that means which one is giving restraint a directional element is going to give you restraining force and the operating force will be given by current value that means here the restraining force will be fr equals to k2 vi cos of cosine of pi minus alpha here the pi is power factor angle of the load or, the, or that line alpha is torque angle of directional element okay these are very important and as you are keeping alpha equals to 90 degree you can write this restraining force as k2 vi sin pi okay in that case uh, how you are going to get the reach value x for this reactance relay that will be equals to k1 by k2 so observe here it is not root k1 
वन बाई के टू और रूट के टू बाई के वन लाइक इम्पीडेंस सो आइज यू आर यूजिंग डायरेक्शनल रिस्टेनिंग फोर्स हियर यू नीड टू और यू विल गेट रिया रीच ऑफ रिएक्टेंस विल इक्वल्स टू एक्स इक्वल्स टू के वन बाई के टू दैट मीन्स इफ यू ड्रॉ ए प्लॉट बिटवीन दिस आर एंड एक्स सिमिलर टू द इम्पीडेंस विले हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द लोकस इट इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड if the reactance is less than that k1 and k k1 by k2 value the relay is going to operate okay that's what that arrow symbols are showing okay and this is also non directional relay okay that is important because the locus is there towards the positive and negative values so we cannot take it as a directional relay okay right the last type of distance relay after reactance and impedance that is mo relay or or admittance relay so that means this is inverse of impedance relay right impedance because inverse of impedance is nothing but admittance okay then here it is voltage restraint directional relay that means the restraining force is due to voltage and the operating force is due to a directional element so for a directional element always the force is of the similar form okay like previous one right and then if you make those restraining force and directional force equal that is at the verge of operation for getting reach you will get that magnitude of admittance into cosine of pi minus alpha equals to k2 by k1 okay and it will be that you can write it as magnitude of impedance divided by cosine of pi minus alpha equals to k1 by k2 and from this you will get this modulus of z is equals to k1 by k2 cosine of pi minus alpha okay finally this is the reach of more relay and if you observe here here the reach value is very weak that means if you observe the characteristics i have mentioned their reach values okay from the uh, from the origin of the coordinate system the reach value is varying for different values of alphas okay like previous case here alpha is not 90 degrees if it is 90 degrees na like reactance relay it may not vary but here the alpha is not fixed at 90 degrees so it is a variable quantity and if you observe here the reach or this diagram uh, we can say it is directional relay how because the characteristics are completely lying towards the positive values right that's why it is a directional relay okay that's it